become a better player, you've got to push yourself and pushing yourself to the limits each and every week, whether that be in your training on a Tuesday, Thursday, whatever night it may be, so that you know that you have to you have to be right at it on a Saturday and then on a Saturday you know you have to turn up and you can't be coming unprepared or just rocking in the Saturday after not turning up on a Tuesday, Thursday. That's where that's where you want your players to be. You want mm-hmm. them to be tuned in, they want them to be trying to get the most out of themselves, whatever that is, um, it is. But you want to see players try and thrive in a, in a competitive environment. The people you're working with with PSA, that would be a key message. To them. You know, try and get out of your comfort zone. Mm-hmm. Try and uh, go and challenge yourself in an environment maybe you're not as comfortable in. Mm-hmm. But actually, you, you'll be getting better. Obviously, you do need the guidance from your parents. or If, if maybe your parents are not into football, um, look at someone and come and ask questions to someone or if there's any kids listening um, go and ask someone who's involved in football and ask for a wee bit of advice or guidance what you should do because that definitely changed me definitely definitely changed me for the better but you have to work hard you have to listen to your coaches you have to I can't preach that enough that it's so so important to work hard and pay attention to everything that you're being told but it's not to say that you have to do everything you're being told but pay attention to everything that's being told because you can make your own mind up throughout your career whether that was right or that was wrong, but it's important to listen to everything that you're being told to you. You never think you've made it. If you've, if you've got to somewhere, like what I'm saying is, if, it, if an ambition is to come through a particular club and make a first-team appearance, don't think that by making your first-team appearances, you know, you've ultimately got to the, you know, the land of success because it's certainly not. It's only started. If, if, if anything, it adds more pressure. Um, so yeah, look, never, never, never stand still with your goal setting as a player. You always got to, you always got to plan for the bigger picture. Where do you see yourself in ten years, and then you start working towards ten years and, and see where it takes you. Um, because there will be setbacks along the way. It's how you deal with them, and there will be, a lot, you know, moments of, you know, moments of, um, of, of proudness, I suppose, regards you know whatever goals you may set out. So. Yeah, so listen, never never accept that you've got to you've got to a specific level. Always have the bigger picture in mind, that's what I would say. Work hard and listen. You know, simple. You know, there's um there are some players, some people I know who think they know it all mm-hmm. and you couldn't talk to them and all this. You know, there's people who know a lot more than, than the young ones do, people a lot know more than I know. But uh, if you work hard at it, if you're determined to listen to people, take their advice, find out what the good advice is, look at it and see what the bad advice is, pick the advice you want and go for it. Mm -hmm. You know, because it's, it is very enjoyable and, you know, it's nice to test yourself at a higher level. Yeah. You know, and I have no qualms and, you know, telling young ones to go ahead. If If they want to do it, do it. Do Go it. for it. But give their give the hundred percent to it. Don't they have it. to. Give, they can't give ninety percent. You know they have to. They have to give it all. Mm-hmm.